we have from this area uh, is the bone from an animal called a protoceratops, which means an early ceratopsian dinosaur. The ceratopsians were the great family of horned dinosaurs. Protoceratops was a primitive member that was thought to have originated in North America. Now, Australia has stolen that claim. Here at Inverloch, Protoceratops appeared 40 million years earlier than anywhere else in the world. Which means that possibly these dinosaurs actually uh, evolved here in Australia rather than in North America as we uh, originally believed. So that's really exciting news for us. Um, also we have evidence of an animal called a struthiomimid, which means ostrich mimic dinosaur. Fossils of struthiomimid are extremely rare. They were known from only two sites in North America, and now this find places them 40 million years earlier than previously thought. So again, it means that these animals probably originated in the southern hemisphere, in the, in, and in Australia in particular, before they um, appear in the northern hemisphere. So it's, it's very exciting. It's, it's, it's a new era for Australian paleontology. As the rock saw slices into the past, it destroys one timetable and establishes another. Fossil finds from North America place Struthiomimid and Protoceratops there 90 million years ago. The dig at Inverloch, however, proves they walked ancient Australia long before then, 120 million years ago. Far from being a backwater of the Cretaceous world, Australia may well have been a cradle of dinosaur evolution. And there is still more to this story, for Inverloch was about to reveal dinosaurs that had miraculously escaped extinction for 40 million years. Day after day, new bones are being pulled from the ground at Inverloch. Leslie and her team of amateur paleontologists never imagined just how their discoveries would rewrite the history of so many species of dinosaurs. One of the most startling finds that we have from this area was called a labyrinthodont, which means maze-like tooth. And it was extinct everywhere else in the world at the time it was living here. This deadly 15-foot-long amphibian, a kind of primitive crocodile, was an ancient creature even older than the dinosaurs. It would have lived near lakes and rivers, preying upon small animals like Leelanosaurus as they came down to drink. And an even greater terror stalked the land. Leslie and her team discovered the bones of an Allosaurus dinosaur, a precursor to T-Rex. With its huge jaws and dagger-like teeth, this would have been Australia's top predator. Incredibly, these primitive monsters were thought to have died out 160 million years ago. And yet, bones from this site show that these creatures lived on here 40 million years after they disappeared across the world. Why this is so, whether it was the environment or the isolation of Australia at the time, we really don't know. But for some reason, they, were, they continued living on here when they were dead everywhere else in the world. The survival of these relics of an even earlier age tells us that things were very different here from the rest of the world. Somehow, Australia became a prehistoric ark, a long-lasting refuge that enabled creatures to cheat extinction. These questions of time, of origins and extinctions, are among the greatest puzzles of the planet. We 
are discovering that dinosaurs were fast, alert, highly adapted animals, able to survive all the extremes of a changing planet. So varied and successful was the biological empire they ruled that without the mysterious catastrophe that brought them to extinction 65 million years ago, they might rule it still.